Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Bab Lake Belgian, and welcome back to Prey, dear viewers and friends. We're still in deep storage where we've been we've been basically locked up by Alex, her brother, and we have a few terminals right next to us here. So I'm gonna check out this one first. Personnel tracking. Sending a, sick, a kill signal to a tracking bracelet is a violation of Transtar policy. Do not deactivate the tracking bracelet for any reason without proper authorization. Tracking bracelets ensure all Transtar personnel can be located in the event of an emergency. Modifying a tracking bracelet must have written approval and may only be deactivated by those with direct level clearance. Aha! And we can follow... people like this. That is interesting. But I see four digits. Four digits. There is a security key here. So that's gonna come in handy. But we can add the bracelet IDs in this terminal. Okay. And we have this one. Charge plans. It's Daniel Show's um, monitor, actually. And then treasure hunt map from Danielle, so I think that's the last one we've been looking for, right? Huh. ELB. And those are, is that supposed to be the icon for deep storage then? I'm gonna have to see about that. We'll do all of those uh, later. Um, Cause I feel like we need to be on the right track here. Miss Show from Alex to Danielle. I wanted to remind you that we have some sensitive information regarding the volunteers and I'd like you to make sure it's secure. I've also included fabrication plans for some charges that you should transfer to storage. Okay. And then a rogue operator. Dr. Yu, I spoke to Lorenzo Calvino and got no response, so bringing the matter to you. There is evidence of an unlicensed operator abor aboard Talos 1. If so, we might be risking another Transtar Nord incident. We want to ensure the station's safety and make sure IT protocols are enforced. So that's probably January. Chief Show, I doubt that accident has any relevance to what you're describing here. If Lorenzo says an investigation is unnecessary, I believe him. Dr. Yu, an operator follows an owner's commands to the letter. Morgan may have built an unlicensed model, and if so, it would have access to station protocols. I'll take the matter to the board if I have to, but I won't have Morgan's actions place the station in jeopardy. Are you certain of this? If this operator exists, where would it be? Huh, so Alex knew about January, which makes me wonder if January is actually on the up and up. So that's the treasure hunt again, so we saw that. And then this one is the download station, but it's, there's nothing on here, okay. So we did get fabricated plans for something. Ah, that must have been the null wave transmitter that we got the fabricated plan for then. Does that cost anything? Well, it costs something, of course, but I could have one more. There we go, let's make one more. It's gonna come in handy, thank you. And now we can move out again. Now what's that? Seems to be an escape pod of some sort that's been ejected out of the station, but it didn't get far. It's still floating right next to the station for some reason, but Let's get out, because we haven't really been here either. Though yes, we have been there, but we took the upper path to get out. So we have confidential records. But that is hackable by somebody with level 4, which is not me. So now that I think about it, this uh, security office that I need to hack to get into, might be able to get over there using the ceiling. Oh, 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 that was not what I wanted to do. But I can get up there. So, with a bit of glue cannon ingenuity, I go up here. We can kind of scan downwards. I think I saw movement on the, on the desk there. So I'm going to definitely be careful. Yeah, this is not being careful, is it? I think I saw something being copied, although none of those are copied objects. So it might just been some flickering. There we go. So an EMP charge and a Typhon Dur with a note. Can you put these in the safe, please? Thanks. Okay. Do we have the key code for the safe? What the hell is this? There's like stuff stuck in here. I can override the door, but 
Volunteer database. Next scheduled data archival in disk wipe pending. Test subject ID numbers are not provided by this workstation. Digital signature Dr. Morgan Yu. So I've been thinking about this. We as Morgan right now want this station stopped. But because of our continued testing uh, with the neuromods, there has been indication that neuromods uh, installation actually changes your uh, personality. So the original Morgan was probably really on board with all of this. So no volunteer ID. Can I? No, I can't do anything with this. Can I open this up? It's another deep storage safe that's locked. But at least this place is now open. Well, that was a noise. That was a noise. Okay, but that's that's done, so we can head down. We're gonna take the stylish way down. By just falling down. There we go. Okay. So, I think we just got the key for the security office. So that should allow us to get in here. There we go, security key. Done with that. We didn't see a mimic before. I don't see any duplicate objects immediately. So let's assume there's nothing wrong here. And then get jumped in the face in a second. So there's more weapons here, so I can turn that into metal, which is always nice. And the locker also has another weapon upgrade kit. And we can download the area map. Which should allow us to also see if I can find a place for that treasure map. Although this place doesn't seem to be all that big. There's a central data repository downstairs, which is probably where we're headed, because all the other areas we've seen already. Not the biggest area, which is fine by me. Uh, grant access. There we go. Critical door error. Okay. It's freaking out. It's freaking out for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, and the, the turret is firing. There it is firing. There, there's some weird audio bugs sometimes in this game. I think I killed them by accident by shooting the explosives there. But that's that. And the turret kind of saved me there, because if I hadn't seen the turret firing, I would have missed the mimics probably. That just entered the area. There we go. And that turret is now, yeah, completely... Furber knuckled. But that's fine. That's fine. Accidental kills are kills as well. I don't really mind. So, central repository. Zero gravity. This is always. I mean, why would you. In, why, why in the heavens would you make an elevator that's just a hole in the ground? Gravity detected. Um. Can you. Can you please not? Oh wow. This is bad. Um, saving. Okay, I'm not gonna waste too much of the glue ammo on this right now. I do wanna take out most of the nests here. I do love the level design with the, uh, the coral. That's just really, really nice. That's that. And we can kill those off like that. There we go. Cost me a bit of ammo, but at least I can move around a bit safer now. Is that a mimic? No. Well, it might be always a, a greater mimic, but... Ooh, there's plenty of sister nest and a weaver. Let's scan that thing. Because I need to. I think it's one of the only creatures I need to scan a few times. Still need to scan a few times. Okay, so a weaver. Oh, this is a mess. Okay. Uh, the Weaver is fighting back, obviously. Because every time I hurt this thing directly, I get blown away like this. Because I can't even control myself. There's definitely something... Oh no, the Weaver just moved to the side area here. 
damn you. And the cystoid nests all over the place are causing a lot of radiation damage. So I'm gonna have to be careful. I can do... What's this? Oh, oh. Calm. Calm your everything. Please ensure all drives meet Transtar compatibility and encryption protocols prior to making them available on the network. No drive found. Okay. Oh god. Is it trying to... That's gonna... Where is it? Go away! There it goes. There it goes. Fear be damned. The weaver is gone. I killed it with my own two pistol and uh, shotgun. Oh god. There we go. I'm gonna be fine. No, I said I'm gonna be fine. There we go. Who Nelly. As long as I can stay away from the cystoid nests, I should be fine. Look at this place. It does have some sort of beauty to everything. And, I mean, it doesn't seem to be damaging me. Which I was kind of afraid of before. Although it does give me whispers if I'm in it. Um, where would I be finding the drive? Ah, because I'm not seeing a lot in this, in this mess, in this coral mess. Okay. And oh, oh, oh! Stop, stop, stop trusting. For a bit, and there's the hard drive. I need to pick that up, and now I need to mount it up there, but I feel like I'm going to be ambushed now. I'm getting close to another nest, I think, because the radiation is piling up again. But I think if I go like this, I should be far enough away, and it should start to dissipate. And I have anti-rad medication if I need to. So there we go. Hard drive right where it needs to be. There we go. New drive detected. Proceed to install screen. Uh, sure. Mount. Yes. Okay. Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. Okay, sounds like a plan, um, as long as we don't die on the way there, because now of course the game had a little, a little bit of time to spawn more enemies. Oh Jesus, that's a bit weird, but there we go. There we go, the corpse of the Technopath is still here. And now I need to get back up, up. Up. I thought I heard the mimic twinkling. But we can use the stairs. Now get back up and get... That was definitely a mimic. That was definitely a mimic. I'm going to shoot its face off. Oh god. Oh god. Um, oh, I, th I think... The problem is fixing itself. No, you won't. There we go. There we go. I don't need all that. Just a sh trusty shotgun to the face. Even the Mimic can't stand. The greater Mimic can't stand the uh, very powerful shotgun blast to the face. Don't know where those guys came from. Because I cleared out the entire area and it's on lockdown. But we, but we get... Oh! Yeah, I heard that. I heard the, 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 the ticking noise. Jesus Christ. Yeah, shotgun gonna keep uh, keep being equipped. There we go. Let's go to the download station. I think the turret was already down, but... There we go. Files. Transfer the arming key. I'm gonna keep, keep looking around, because I feel like this takes longer than anything else. 
What the... Okay. The keys to the kingdom. I need to head out again. So I think that probably means I'm fine. Get Alex's arm and key from the Arboretum. Things are speeding up, I feel like. Morgan, Alex has you boxed in. Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown from out here. But I promised I'd help you. So listen. Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. It's a redundant backup system. That's your way out. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open up one of the vaults. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Then your ass is space junk, like me. Okay, Danielle is still out there helping us. I wonder what would happen if you didn't talk to Danielle. Um, so let's transfer some more junk. We can actually make Morgan's arming key as well now, so... Used to prime the Talos 1 Superforge reactor for self-destruct must be used in conjunction with Alex Yu's arming key. So let's make this one at least. So we have that. There we go. With fancy music, I'm gonna make another Neuro Mold. And then some more shotgun shells so we're ready for the future. There we go. And shotgun shells. Now, the utilities, we can use that to uh, open up the vault access. So that's what we saw floating in space, the data vault. And then the B1 is now open. We still don't have the key for the deep storage safe, which is a bit worrying. But with those, that fort neuro mold, I can actually put myself up to hacking too. Which will come in handy later on. And now we're going to continue to upgrade the uh, disruptive stun gun. Now to up to 15 shots per reload. Which is really, really nice. Uh, and I need to eat something. There we go. So we can either go down or we can go... Because I think that door will probably still be locked. So let's go into the data vault. Over here. That's now open. Take a look inside and there should be a manual... Ah, okay, so this opens up even further. This seems to be it. Data vaults. Don't see a manual release just yet, but there is a maintenance access panel with a big shiny button. Manual release button, press to release. There we go. And we're flying out. There could actually be a mimic in these data storage units. Didn't think about that. Ow. Okay. Microgravity detected. Okay. Oh, wow. Can you hear us? Rejecting the new cell and spiking them up like an antivirus. So we saw one of these before. And it's starting to indicate that we might not actually be Morgan Yu anymore. Is it reacting? Or are we seeing memories from something else? Okay, so that's a window. Okay, so we're inside of that. But this thing isn't going to open up anymore, probably. Although there is a shiny button next to it. There we go. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Okay. Oh, gold! Ow, 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 ow. Great. Didn't expect that. I got damaged immediately there. So, I want to check out the other data vault while we're here. So, let's push that button. And go in here. There's two boxes in here, which is... No Ooh. There's a lot of food in here. So let's take all of that. Thank you. And then over here... There's a few useful supplies. That's nice of the game. I don't know who would put that inside of a data vault, but... There we go. Let's open that, up, that back up. 
There we go. So now, we need to head to the cargo bay. Because apparently the other airlocks are not working anymore. That's weird. I could go and kill the Technopath outside of the crew quarters. Which is right over there. And I do want to take that guy out. Because he killed me once while I was outside here. So uh, let's take this, his ass out. So since I know what to expect. I'm holding an EMP charge. To take out the Technopath. Just using my psychoscope a bit to see what else is going on here. Because I'm a bit confused. As to what is where. But I'm supposing this is where the Technopath is. So I'm going to try and stabilize myself a bit. So there's an operator over there. So if he comes close. I can actually zap him. There we go. There we go. It still doesn't kill them in one go, even though my uh, stun gun is supposedly upgraded to the very max. So, hello medical operator. There we go. Oh, with, that, with the sneak attack I can kill them in one go. So let's cancel that. Oh. And this seems to be everything. Hmm. This is a part of the crew quarters I couldn't access before, but I could swear there was a Technopath on the other side of that door. I can carry that and put that a bit further. More stuff where that came from, but otherwise... Another Psy Hypo I can dismantle. Otherwise this place seems to be pretty empty. It's a bit weird. A bit weird to actually navigate this area without being stuck to the floor. But there's more items where that came from. There's a chipset here. Etheric shielding. Ooh, and that's actually for the suit. So that's grants resistance to ether damage. That's going to be nice. There we go. And now we have full equipped chipsets, which is nice. And then global unity games. Okay, nothing too spectacular. And they have a briefcase with a very low amount of materials for some reason. I mean, I'm gonna grab anything I can get, but that was a bit low on everything. So I'm quick saving throughout, but the, according to the map, the hull breach at crew quarters is even further over there. So I'm just gonna take a look over there then. So I'm right above the hull breach now. There's a few cystoids in the way. And I can deal with those. Okay. So those are fine. If they hit me, I'm fine. I don't really care. Hit me all you want. But where the hell are we now? Board member. Is this? This is where the... Yeah, this is where the Technopath is. Okay, so if I... Do a quick save... And then, I can scan while I'm throwing the EMP. And then go to the Disruptor Stun Gun. Uh, fire, please. Fire, please, so I can keep it stunned. And there we go. I think I killed it. And the turret was part of it, so it's also disabled. There we go. So that turret is actually immediately on my side now. So this is definitely the other side of where Alex's office was. Oh. So this is the office of our parents. This is interesting. Why is it so small? This is... This doesn't make any sense. I know it's a place for them to be when because they don't probably come to this uh station that often but i mean they're head of the transstar organization well the public faces at least that doesn't make any sense then we have nothing apparently let's go into nothing that seems a bit bigger oh this is weird floating around like this there are items here though 
So don't mind if I do. More food. Always handy. Some more bullets in the nightstand, but that was basically it. And then if we move, because that, that was the one that was, yeah, it was waiting behind the door. So there's two more rooms around the corner here. Because I won't be able to, yeah, I definitely won't be able to clear that hull breach. But we have board member. There might be a nest in here, actually. Ooh. Hi. So stealth attack took care of him. A lemon peel in the trash can, but that's about it. But I have plenty of batteries where that came from. Um, and then on the other side, we, hold, we have another board member. And the radiation doesn't stop here, so there's definitely a cystoid nest over here. And there we go. The care of that, but I'm running out of glue ammo. Which is also not good, but I'm just too curious, damn it. Shotgun critical. Ooh. And that's on the on the helmet. So I think I might actually swap that out if that is what I think it is. Increases the critical chance when firing with the shotgun. So I got rid of the Psychoshock Resistance to go with Shotgun Critical. Because that sounds a lot better. That was... okay. That made everything worth it. That made my little trip worth every single bullet I've spent around here. Because that's going to come in really handy with the bigger, uh, the bigger guys. So let's get back out. Oh god. There's another Technopath in here. And there goes, yeah, that was what I wanted to do. I'm going to scan him while we're going along. And there we go. Okay, I thought there was a corpse flying around, but it was the entire Technopath. I kind of mis uh, miscalculated that one, so I'm going to have to heal a bit. So, the cargo bay. There's um, a lot of dead bodies around here. And this is apparently close to where we were before. Because there's multiple corpses. I think I found those the very first time I came outside. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from in here. Huh. Rescue Dr. Igwe. Okay, I have seven minutes to do so, but where is he? Where is he? Dr. Igwe. Oh, there he is. There he is. Doctor, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna save you, buddy. Shipping container. I can open that up, but that's not that's not a good idea, is it? Or is it a good idea? I don't feel like this is a good idea. I'm gonna save before I actually open this up. Because don't get me wrong, I can't open this up. There we go, hacking succeeded. But wait, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, Stop. okay, I just Stop killed the man. Dives. Okay, so I can't open up the container. Makes sense. Can I push it? No, no, if it's... Is it moving now? Discover Dr. Igwe's container number. What? Well, yeah, but... How? Oh god, docking terminal. I'm gonna have to book it. Yeah, fuck radiation at the moment. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe. For the moment. It will be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Oh god, what was his number? What was his number? I kind of forgot about it. 2312. It's 2312. I was almost there. 2312. Uh, doc. Okay, is it moving into... There it is. Okay. I think I docked him safely there. Adrift. Oh, a 
at last. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterians. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. Okay, definitely will. So I can use the crate to actually get into the station now. That's we found good. Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though, I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. So there's also another transcript, Grant Lockwood. Let's take that and listen to that. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but... Can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. And I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Th okay, bye. Okay, so now we can open up the container so we can enter the container and then go out the other side oh no don't lock is it open i can't see shit in this thing i think it's open yeah it's open there we go and now we can go in here and into the cargo bay and there we go the storage bay the cargo bay um there's at least two phantoms running around over there. So I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna crouch. They're normal phantoms though. So I should be fine. Doctor Yu! Morgan! Up here! Officer Cool! If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm gonna have to kill those two bastards. Can I actually throw things at those guys? So if I just do... Oh god. That didn't do anything, did it? I do want to try that, though. If I just pick up something really big... Can I toss that in one of their faces? Just impact damage-wise. Oh, he ran off. I mean, that can handle this, right? A bit of a bit of harmless fun. I don't know where the second phantom went though. There he is. So I'm just running around. Boom! Oh wow. Is he dead? Oh, there's a voltaic phantom over there. I think I killed him. I could kill them in one go by just tossing something big in their faces. This is awesome. How does that work on Voltaics? I mean, Voltaics are badass, but this, this is the biggest fighter in all of history. Oh, God. Nope. I could just... I mean... There we go. And then go over here. I'm gonna get walked, am I? Oh, there he goes. Um, oh, he's still he's still emitting electricity. There we go. The MP was already working out. But, I mean, that does a lot of damage. I didn't expect that. Kind of makes sense. That if you hit them with the biggest thing you can find, you actually do a lot of damage as well. But never really thought about using that as a weapon. Now, I mean, I made a mistake here. Kind of block the staircase there. I'm gonna move that since I'm probably the only human in existence who can move this. There we go. Uh, the electricity is out. Otherwise, we would have a nice recycler and fabricator right here next to one another. Ooh, and another weapons chest. 
a weapon upgrade kit, a weapon chest. I'm thinking about Borderlands, aren't I? The rest of the doors are unpowered, so might as well move further. There was a great amendment that's freaking out about me, but he's behind a locked door. Synthetic material. Don't know what happened there, but fair enough. Um, what else? What else? I'm just going to go to the door, I think. We will be able to check this out uh, when it's powered up, I suppose. So let's repair this guy, since he's in a good position. Oh, let's... Yeah. Remind me never to cross you. You killed them all. Indeed I did. Let me open the door, man. Hello. I'm a badass. I kill all the phantoms. I don't think these PPN pistols are going to do the trick. Not much choice. Okay, that's apparently his only voice line there. Um, there is some nice weaponry in there. I want to have that. Well, I want to have all of it. Send someone to find a cutting torch. We need to get into these cargo cages and see what supplies are in here. Sarah. But, I mean, it's just locked. Could try and force it open with something. And there's a hole up there that's blocked by something heavy. So we can do it over here. And we have to Heard Dr. Igwe was floating in a cargo crate outside the ship. Maybe he's... Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Okay. Hi, people. There we go. I scanned him through the door. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but fills me with dread. Anyway, she fell stars waiting on you. So that's Darcy, then Kevin Haig, and Chief Alazar probably on the upper floor. Wow, there's a lot of them. But I can whack him with a container if, they, if I want to. Hi. I think he's smiling at me. Look. Hello. It does give us a good look at him. They look horrifying. Proper nightmare stuff. Okay. Uh, this I probably can't open high. That's a friendly phantom. How does that work? His bar is blue. It's a bit weird. Let's go up. Oh, two more survivors. God, watching those things move makes me sick. Okay, Alfred Rose and Sam Hertz. Not really familiar faces. Oh my God, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it, like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh, corpse, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. There Does we it go. look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Hello, boys. Good job you're doing here. I'm just going to check on Dr. Igwe first, now that we're here. Um, there's also a way inside of that locker, which I'm going to definitely do now. I just need leverage three. I can move that. There we go. Ow. I almost killed myself with it there. Luckily, we found a lot of food uh, outside in the container there. Another weapon upgrade kit. Don't mind if I do. You're doing all right. And there we have more Q-beam cells. Another weapon upgrade kit. That's two more in this area. More glue canisters, always handy. Another turret. Um, otherwise, this seems to be not too impressive, but maybe the people can do something with that. Because I can carry the turret outside probably because there's an override button over here which you could probably reach if you just put your fingers in there there we go and do i need to put i'm gonna put the turret over here just in case that door opens up there we go and avoid that thing there we go i'm helping now dr igwe don't know if wiggy or dr igwe is lucky to be here or not might have been safer in his crate. If you hadn't come along, I'd still be at their mercy. Thank you. Oh, so that's Rani from the... Being controlled by those things. I borrowed them. It was like I was watching myself. 
But my voice... My voice was buried inside me. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't even do that. I, I felt like I was drowning. In myself. I heard that some of the other security officers... Deeg, Lemma... They didn't make it. How did okay. this all happen? So I was <clears throat> stealing their supplies, kind of. You keeping the fort? The what? I'm Morgan? gonna take the asteroid I fragments. Thought... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. But what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. <laughs> But they weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire, and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? Yes. I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Good question. Um, I think the Typhon might actually be behind that as well. I'm going to stay off the if food. If only I had reached the power supply in time. Because um, that's not something we're going to have to need to worry about. But the asteroid fragments is definitely going to take those. They don't need those. And the freight wire. And then we have two emails on Gerald Wildman's terminal. Good morning. The delivery shuttle arrived earlier with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo bay A. I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of their shift today, as you will be the lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you with what chlorine trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask Enoch. Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it res it's secured, I'll give you all the rest of the shift There's still off. Hope. There must be. And then a sad face. And Dr. Igwe, temporary assignment. Mr. Wildman, Dr. Deo Igwe, assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with the cargo bay personnel. There are some incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me. So if you have any issues, Please contact my office, Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Okay, so now we know what we can talk to Igwe Dr. about. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but, well, now might be best. Here. I'm sure you could make better use of it. Okay, we got a robot for saving Dr. Igwe. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo and claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. Probably. Oh, okay, where are you going? You know. This might definitely be one. There must be some way out. There we go. A weapon kit. Ooh, a weapon kit fabrication plan. That is huge. So now we can make weapon upgrade kits from the fabricator. Where does this go? Okay, so that's the walkway that uh, the guy from before was standing on. But everything's dead, so might as well check this out as well. Power interrupted. Container offline. And then this just loops back over to the other side. He was risking his neck here, shouting at me. Because of course the psycho shock attack could have easily hit him there. Uh, so I think we're 3 out of 6 for the... The alarm panels. But there's one over here as well. Might as well check it out. Nope. That's a real one. So probably the ones that are close to another one are fake ones. Um, and to end it here, I'm going to listen to Alfred Rose. Chief, Rose here. I've covered Bay 1. Nothing. How solid is your source? Solid. Sweep the area again. Word is the smuggler is moving the contraband out during the next cycle. 
Maybe if you got me one of those fancy helmets from Psychotronics, that'll speed things up. Not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Sweep the area again and report back. Elazar out. Okay. So checking out the cargo is easy with, of course, the psychoscope because you can detect mimics. I'm gonna assume there are none in this area because otherwise I'm gonna be in for a nasty surprise. But with that done, I think I can take a little break because we've been going for an hour again. Well, now in 10 minutes actually. So uh, good point to take a break, I think, right before talking to Alazar. And that's what, exactly what we'll do in the next episode. So Sarah, Alaza, right over there. We'll talk to her next time. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to start talking to the rest of the survivors. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.